Yeah, the wind picked up over six, seven knots and eventually got onto the full sail. And uh, yeah, we've had a, a really good sail up to now. You can see it's midday now, 1.30. Oh, big thunderstorms are starting to rear their heads. This is what happens. And then the wind dies, and then you get a freaking offshore from hell, which comes off the land out to sea and hits you at like 30 knots. Anyway, yeah, we've been lucky we didn't have to motor the whole way. I'm going to try and push for Kapos in a straight line to get there tomorrow, hopefully. Instead of doing the dog leg into Drake's Bay, but yeah, it's, it's gone lacquer so far. I've got no idea what the afternoon and the evening will hold for us. It's probably going to have a little surprise. There will be some rain involved as well, I'm sure. You're with Nexus Offshore Adventures. We're definitely not your average yachties. We're mad keen fishermen looking for adventure around the world. We 100% support tag and release. So subscribe and join us on Mondays as we go in search of the best fishing, diving and surfing spots around the globe. Yeah, this is Punta San Padillo and Drake's Bay is just around the corner. And there's so many nice spots here with these big rock outcrops, man. You'd love to go and throw some plugs and stuff there, although the water's a little bit off here. And the swell's pretty big. But yeah, there's miles and miles of flipping jungle and emptiness out here. It's quite incredible. You see the odd little boat running up and down, little taxis that run up along the coast from Golfito around the corner here. So there are people living here, but you don't see much from the, there's, I haven't seen a house or anything along the way since we came past the point at Matapalo. So yeah, lots of territory. Yeah, that's us coming around the, the headland. That's actually Drake's Bay here. By here, Drake, there's a little anchorage in the corner there, but um, yeah, it's sort of a dog leg and then to go to Capos, so I'm hoping. We just go straight across to Kapos, which is over there. It's another 60, 55 miles. Hopefully use this wind because uh, yeah, there's not a lot of wind in this area. And today we've got, we've got like 9, 10 knots. It's actually picked up this last, this last couple of minutes. It's dropped down again. But man, if we can get 3, 4 hours of 10 knots, I'll be stoked. Yeah, it's actually starting to blow a bit. Uh, it's actually picking up. Yeah, it makes a big difference to the fuel bill. Keep the fuel bill in check. It's not cheap up here. Everything here is super expensive. The auntie and the uncle. The sunset cruise. 40 miles out of Kapos. Wind's gone. In a yeah. lacquer sail. Wind died about an hour ago. It's been so a now, nice day. Now it's been a lucky day. We've had some sunshine awesome for a change. It was pissing with rain this morning, but yeah. it hasn't rained since then, which is freaking a first. Bit of yeah, there's some heavy weather behind us and out here, so we're probably going to get some rain. We're getting pretty used to it now. It rains every day. Yeah. But yeah, it was a lucky day. Wakes us up sometimes three times a night because it rains yeah. and it stops and you close everything and it gets hot so you open and you Yeah, it's freaking hot here. Yeah. Close for more rain and so it goes on. There's that sun coming out behind the behind the clouds there. About to dive out below the horizon. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a liquor day. Nice. Carry on with your crossword now. <laughs> Oh, another all-nighter coming up. Now we should actually pour ourselves a dolph and watch the sunset, yeah. but we can't because we're doing an all-nighter. Yeah. Hopefully half a night. Okay, we can sleep. Yeah, I haven't anchored at Kapos so, yet, so 
don't know what it looks like, but we're gonna be coming in in the dark. Yeah. We'll be just anchor in the deep somewhere yeah. until morning. If it's like this, it'll be fine. If it blows, well, it's another story. See what it gives us tonight. You never know in this place. Yeah, especially this place. This place is a box of smarties. Yeah. Always pretty this time of the night, this time of the afternoon. Beautiful evening. We're going to get some rain, you can see it there. Headed into some more front there. Oh, there's colors of this. Sea is just glassy, it's beautiful. Wind's almost gone completely. I'm sure it's gonna come off, off the land. Yeah. She's starting to hunt around now. It's gonna come off the land later. Oopa. Get us get a uh, land breeze shortly check this rainbow in the sky Pew. it's actually trying to make a double you can just see a faint one on the left hand side there beautiful man look at these colors on the water as well absolutely magnificent look at that Spectacular is this evening. Had a beautiful day sailing. Really got some good sail in today. The wind and everything is absolutely perfect. And now we're going into the evening. <clears throat> we're on our way to Fuepos. And um, we should be getting there sometime this evening. We're just cruising and enjoying the ride, and it's just so, so beautiful. Yeah, welcome to Capos. That's Marina Pez Vela down there, just around the corner there. I was in there this morning. Man, it's like Star Wars inside there. It's like USA in 2030. Anyway, we've got a full-on noise going on here. We've got party boats. You can hear the boys, they've been freaking going flat out for a couple of hours already. We're in this little bay. You can see the rock next to the, the boat there. And the tide's coming, there's a big bommy over there. Came in here last night, in the dead of the night. And uh, I could see this yacht had its light on, so I came in here very quietly. There where that dinghy is now, just behind, there's a massive rock. There's a rock sticking out there. There's, there's actually big pinnacles here that go dry. And it actually comes up very quickly here. We're in 11 meters here, but it, that comes up to like five over there. I wasn't even going to try and going inside here, especially in the dark. There are a lot of boys, mooring boys around here as well, which we didn't even see last night. But yeah, coming into places in the night time is not, not nice at all, especially with a big downpour which came down just after we put the anchor. It, it rained for, I don't know, four or five hours. But if we'd arrived in that rain, there's no ways I would have been able to come in here. As it was, we had the spotlight. I was looking at using the binoc binocs and scanning and trying to see in the bit of scatter light there was from the houses and stuff up here. But yeah, pretty jobly anchorage. But otherwise, yeah, we got in safe. That was the main thing. I said to Kerry, when we hit 10, 11 meters, I'm drop, dropping the pick. I'm not going any shallower than that. But yeah, it's, it's pretty. Not the beaches that we used to, but We're both buggered. Went in with a rubber duck with a zodiac this morning, got halfway to uh, Pez Vela and the freaking motor conked out. So I was almost rowing and uh, yeah, it wasn't fun. I uh, had to come back and managed to get the diesel and all the parts that really brought through and then, and then just limp back with it in sort of stuttering all the way back here. 
only option I had was to change the plugs and hopes that was what the problem was and it was so super stoked that, that uh, we've sorted that problem geez I don't need any more breakdowns we've had enough now some serious mansions up on the hill here some very nice properties and hotels I don't think the GoPro will pick it up that well and I guess on the weekends you got to deal with this ah the one boat's going take your music with you the other one's just arrived, so they'll get going shortly. And yeah, look at that little cozy corner there. It's just very cute. All the umbrellas and that. So maybe we can get off with a rubber duck there. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think Trevor's going to chat to Rudy and find out. But just get the formalities done first and then um, see what we can do. I don't know how long we're going to be here for. We want to make our way to Tamarindo. Um, we're going to collect my sister and Paul in a few, in about eight days. And um, go and say goodbye to the Pale crew. So yeah, we're going to head off there. Yeah, so we didn't spend much time at uh, Kapos. We managed to pick up the parts that are, that are needed for the steering. And uh, with Kiri's sister and brother-in-law arriving, it was time to leave and head north uh, for Flamingo Bay uh, via the uh, sea mounts of uh, Los Sueños. And it wasn't long before we uh, got stuck into something. This, is, this thing feels solid. Yeah, it's very solid. What the hell is this? You haven't hooked the freaking... You know, this thing is solid. I know. Yes, I don't know what this is. We're going to be here all night if I do it. No. <laughs> This thing is solid. Ah, it's a tuna. It's a tuna. I can feel the head knock. It's a okay. tuna. Sushi! Sushi for the polos that can't get fish. <laughs> You've got to go deep, boys. You've got to go deep. <laughs> Follow the fisherman. <laughs> this thing's on the surface. I wonder if it's not a big wahoo. But it's too heavy for a wahoo. No, it's not a wahoo. It doesn't no, feel like a wahoo. Oh, she mustn't go over. Okay, what did I do? Just checking her now. Oh, Kerry? Yeah. Okay, I am sitting here by the helm and filming Trevor. Maybe. It might even be a marlin that's not jumping. So much for a tuna. You might have to run, eh? You might have to run because this thing's going to make crap here. It's a marlin. Just go forward. Go, go, just keep forward a bit. Keep, keep. Marlin! On the bank. I'm gonna have sports because this has got double hooks in it. Uh, is it a black? No, it's a blue. It's a blue. It's a blue. I need to get hooked onto it. the She's hooked on the right hand side of the face, so she's gonna to want to stay this side. We'll just get it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Strange, it didn't even jump. Yeah. That was a nice little surprise on our first Costa Rican blue marlin. The only problem on this boat uh, is uh, when she gets uh, on, on the port side, it's, uh, it's super difficult because you can't see the person fighting the fish at the, on the helm. So yeah, it was important that I got her over onto the starboard side so that Kerry could see where I was. Um, luckily the fish uh, played its part and eventually moved over to the other side and we were able to do the rest of the job. Give me two of the same side. Okay. okay no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, you want the other one? No, no. Um, you the, might have to cut. The gaff is behind you as well. Yeah, you might have to cut. Okay. Because the thing is, this has got, I just want to get to see if I can get the lure back. I'll, I'll throw the hook set away. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the lure back. It's full of them. Eh? Oh, this is wrong side. I'm losing this side now. Color. Yeah, I'm losing This is the danger part. It 
doesn't jump this big, you see? This is freaking... Just the body give it... Yes, let's take those hooks out, John. Let's take those hooks out. Yes. Holy oh, shit. Did you get that? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It's running. Is the main still still up? Yeah. I've got it. Okay. Should I take it out of gear? No, it's fine. Just like that, it's fine. She's actually sounding straight. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this out. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, I'm going to boom it. These little things hurt you. These freaking small ones. They're the worst. And now, let's pick a leader. Give me that. I can get this fish. There you go. Okay. Get that gap out of there. Just gap out of here. You got a slack on it. You want the gas? You want gas? This is. It's just in the bottom lip. I'm just gonna let it cut your loose. Okay, it's a tiny little blue. You got it there. Come on, man. Ah, oh, shit! There goes the lure after all. Oh no, Trevor. Shit! Oh shit, Trevor. No sweat, I've got plenty more. Well done, <laughs> you, are you are sweating. You are sweating. I wish I had a video from this side. <laughs> one in Costa Rica, one in Tropic Star Lodge. How's that? Yeah, awesomeness. Okay. Thank goodness it wasn't a bus because otherwise we'd be in the cuck. That's actually the prototype of the TT, the very first prototype of the TT, which we did waiting with with Ted. And, uh, that head just even got the lead inside, it hasn't got any colouring in it or anything, it's just got two eyes and uh, yeah, I just put a super candy uh, purple and, and uh, chartreuse uh, skirt on it. That's the last. What and can what do? did you say off top of three? You don't catch more? Yeah, I said, <laughs> yeah, in Richard's Bay we don't often catch fish off top of three. Well, that was a five o'clock fish, <laughs> just before dark. Anyway, listen, good thing now we can put the rods away, we're going to carry on sailing. Okay. Yes. Yeah, the sunsets and the beers always taste sweeter when you've caught a nice fish. So join us next week as we head to Flamingo and make a reacquaintance with the Parlay guys. Make sure you subscribe and catch us then. Thanks for watching.